And today I wanted to show you how a deficiency of vitamin B6, and particularly B6's active form known as pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or P5P, contributes to the onset and progression of type 2 diabetes. Vitamin B6, when taken regularly, contributes significantly to normal glycogen metabolism while preventing glycation and regulating the release of stored glucose. These are all part of the more than 200 metabolic reactions that B6 actively participates in. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes, and it's caused primarily by insulin resistance and the consequential accumulation of excess glucose in the blood. B6's active form, P5P, is a necessary cofactor for many enzymes involved in protein metabolism. So in someone with type 2 diabetes, the accompanying inflammation and oxidation would drive an increased demand for P5P, causing a sharp decrease of P5P in other tissues. Low B6 levels can also contribute to gestational diabetes because during pregnancy, levels of P5P typically decline due to the transport of B6 to the fetus. Another way that a B6 deficiency affects diabetes involves the metabolism of tryptophan, an essential amino acid that's also the primary precursor for essential hormones like serotonin and melatonin. Most ingested tryptophan is metabolized through the kynurenine pathway to manufacture the critical coenzyme NAD, or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and there are several related metabolic enzymes involved in this process that require P5P, which again is B6's active form, as a necessary cofactor. A deficiency of P5P then diverts the normal production of NAD from kynurenine to, instead, the excessive formation of xanthorenic acid, which then impairs the production, release, and biological activity of insulin, paving the way for the insulin resistance that distinguishes type 2 diabetes. A deficiency of B6 can also contribute to an increase in homocysteine because, as you know, B6 is required, along with B12 and folate, for effectively metabolizing homocysteine. Elevated homocysteine is already associated with obesity, and excessive homocysteine can also promote fat accumulation in the liver. This is why people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is also associated with insulin resistance, are often very low in P5P. Also, visceral fat, which surrounds the organs, and is very abundant in obesity, contains far less P5P than the subcutaneous fat that's found beneath the skin. One primary cause of diabetic complications is the formation of advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. In diabetes, age accumulation is caused primarily by high blood sugar. This accumulation of advanced glycation end products increases inflammation and destroys the normal structure and function of the blood vessels. Ages also increase production of reactive oxygen species, which promote even further age development. Oxidative stress is a major risk factor for the onset and progression of diabetes. Some of the most common diabetes risk factors, including obesity, a diet of primarily processed and refined carbs, and a chronically sedentary lifestyle, all contribute to an oxidative environment that further stresses existing insulin resistance. Vitamin B6, as P5P, is also a cofactor for metabolic enzymes involved in DNA metabolism, so a deficiency of B6 can also contribute to diabetic DNA damage. Along with daily intake of B6, you should also be taking a full B vitamin complex, and especially some magnesium, because magnesium is extremely supportive of optimal blood sugar on its own, and vitamin B6 is already well known for improving intestinal magnesium absorption. In this way, you can think of B6 and magnesium as essential companions. And this is why you'll sometimes see both paired together in a single product. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.